fast that the scripts themselves, so th these are not uh, by any way uh, an official uh, or supported uh, solution. You can use them as reference, but uh, let's just make the screen a bit larger. But you need to consult with your database professional to know how to quiesce your database. So basically what we do here is, uh, this is the after script. Uh, just my mistake. Let's first look at the before script. So the before script uses SSH with the key and the address of the Joomla server and it runs the command, the MySQL command, uh, flush tables with read log and flush logs. So this will leave the MySQL tables locked for writing but all the data on the disk will be in a consistent state. So after a short while after the snapshot started, the after script will run and it checks for uh, the success status of the older script because it, ha it gets it in a, as an argument to the script and then it runs again using SSH. It uh, dumps the date in a format that is compatible with MySQL into a temp file this date and time is a timestamp that can be used for purging logs later because it is taken in a in a state where the exact point in time where the, the the snapshots happen. So, so this is good for us. And after that, we run the command unlock tables for MySQL, which will release the write lock and uh, allow a regular operation to commence and uh, and write request to be processed. And after everything is succeeded, we will have the complete script, complete web serve, which basically only uh, dumps a ready-made script and runs it with SSH. It copies it over to uh, the machine and then it uh, gives it uh, executable permissions and runs it. And will uh, so see every uh, every one of the script checks for a success status and then logs the status into scderr so cpm can collect it and also it returns the status as the exit code of the script now if we just take a short look at the uh, complete uh, sql you can see that it, what it does it takes the temp file with the timestamp into a variable and then runs a mysql command this actually runs locally on the joomla server it runs purge binary logs before and the timestamp. So everything before the backup will be able to uh, to be purged and this happens only if everything was successful. So if I look again at complete I can see here that if the first argument is not equal one which means that something was amiss either a snapshot uh, failed or a previous script was failed then we'll go to this else clause and we'll log that there was an issue during backup and we're not truncating logs. You want to truncate logs only when the backup was completely successful. Now we just want to um, uh, test the script, so I'll try before script, and be because it's the first time, I'll have to uh, okay the finger uh, the finger uh, print. This is something I need to do in the testing phase, but only happens to have once. And we see MySQL freeze succeeded, and let's run the after script now. and we see that MySQL unfreeze succeeded. So basically it looks okay, we should probably test the third one as well, but we'll leave it uh, here the, in this case. So the only thing we need to do now is to go back to the policy and add a schedule for it, right? So backup will start running. We'll run, uh, click on new schedule, web serve sched, uh, And we'll let it run every, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes. Click on apply. Go back to the policy web serve. And click on web serve sched to add it to the policy schedule. And now if we click on backup times here in web serve, we can see that it has a backup uh, planned for it. Every 20 minutes. So now we'll take a break and we'll return after a while when we'll actually have backups of this policy.